Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And today we have a brand new episode in our card spotlight series in which I look at a card that I feel is underplayed or underappreciated in Commander and discuss its merits. But before we do that, just a quick reminder to please click subscribe if you enjoy these videos. It's the only way the YouTube algorithm really notices me and we're currently growing the channel and it helps me a lot. Much appreciated. And continuing with our Planeswalker series from Phyrexia, it all will be one. Today we're going to be looking at Vraska Betrayal Sting. She is a four colorless, one black, and one Phyrexian black planeswalker with six starting loyalty, and it has completed, which means that if you play the Phyrexian mana for it, it's gonna come with two fewer starting loyalty, so it would be four. And it has zero. You draw a card and you lose one life. Proliferate. Minus two. Target creature becomes a treasure artifact with tap, sacrifice this artifact, add one mana of any color, and loses all other card types and abilities. And minus nine. If target player has fewer than nine, Nine poison counters they get a number of poison counters equal to the difference so this is an absolutely sweet design because Vraska doesn't have any plus loyalty ability so how are you supposed to get to that nine ability well because of her zero ability is actually a hidden plus one ability because it gives proliferate now that is an absolutely insane first ability you draw a card and you lose one life would already be pretty decent but then proliferate that's gonna make putting this into any deck that has a bunch of counters absolutely insane it's gonna be fantastic in a super friends deck of course but it's gonna be good in any deck that has a bunch of counters to put on things and then it comes with a minus two that is also absolutely ridiculous so basically it's a removal spell that doesn't destroy so it gets around indestructible it gets around anything but hexproof really and they're gonna be left with this useless artifact which then you can kill if you really need to but there's not really any way they can turn it back into a pleat creature other than blinking it but if they blink it it has to be something that can blink artifacts as well which is kind of rare so this is basically just one of the hardest removals you can have basically because it gets around indestructible it gets around basically everything and only for minus two which isn't even that much of a cost and then the minus nine is basically going to make a player lose the game if you have any sort of proliferate in the deck which you should so obviously if you get her to 10 you can use this and then the next turn you can use her proliferate ability but that seems pretty unreliable so the best thing to do is probably have other proliferate cards in the deck which to be honest you probably want to be running anyway or you can have something like the chain veil in your deck just to make sure that you can finally get to proliferate and just finish off your opponents. In any case, this is a really cool design and a really powerful Planeswalker. For six mana, you're getting so much stuff. And even if you play it for five mana and it comes in with four loyalty counters, you can still remove something and not have it die. And you can still proliferate yourself back up to a pretty high loyalty counter. So this just seems like it's gonna be great in any deck that cares about proliferating. And the removal is just so good. I mean, it's hard to stress how good that removal is on a Planeswalker. The fact that you can use it repeatedly and not have it die is just really fantastic. Fantastic. It's gonna get rid of lots of problem permanents and anything without hexproof basically So I think this planeswalker is definitely gonna see playing commander and it's very very strong It's definitely the strongest Vraska we've ever seen. So there you have it. That has been our card spotlight for today What are your thoughts on this card? Let me know in the comment section below I read all comments and respond to all of them too And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like or subscribe. It really helps the channel and until next time take care Woo!